This afternoon, the consent resolution against AG Garland is going to be on the floor. Curious for your reaction to that, but also, what do you make of Republicans arguing that the transcript isn't enough, that they need the audio tapes to protect the Constitution, they're, they're citing Article One protection? Well, Let's be clear. I mean, nothing is going to be enough uh, for Jim Jordan and um, uh, and his group of of extremists on the other side. Uh, that's just the reality. Anything that would be given to them uh, would never be enough. This is just a, a sad state of, of where we are. Um, Republicans are choosing uh, extremism and contempts and impeachments after their impeachment, you know, efforts failed and, and hit some roadblocks. Uh, now they're moving to this. This is all just an effort to satisfy the former president. Um, who has asked them to, to do something, to do anything, to distract uh, from his own uh, legal uh, issues. So uh, it's, un it's an unfortunate state where we are. Um, uh, Jamie Raskin reminded us that, um, uh, that, that these have never been given, tapes have never been you know, given in the past from a precedent perspective. Transcripts are always, are always enough. That's what we deal with here is uh, what's in the transcript, what's on the document. Um, that's what they've done. Uh, here, they've satisfied that requirement. Unlike House Republicans, who uh, and Steve Bannon and Peter Navarro, who were held in contempt of Congress for not answering at all. You know, meanwhile, Merrick Garland and the DOJ has sent troves of information uh, for them. Uh, Steve Bannon and 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 Peter Navarro thumb their nose at um, at a lawful subpoena, uh, and they're going to jail as a result of it. So uh, that's the difference between uh, where we are. Thank you so much.